Our story is about a town, a small town, and the people who live in the town. A lot has changed in this live-action adaptation of the classic comic book series. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 5 need-to-know Riverdale facts. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be taking a look at fun facts and interesting behind-the-scenes details pertaining to the Netflix original series Riverdale. This was Betty's idea, okay? I just went along with it. Number 5. Cole Sprouse originally auditioned to play Archie. Uh, can I sit, Jughead? If you want. As is often the case with a new TV show, actors will audition for one role only to end up being cast in another. Such was the case for Cole Sprouse. While he originally came in for the lead role of Archie, he ended up being cast as the former's former best friend, Jughead. Have you ever seen me without this stupid hat on? That's weird. Viewers of the show will be quick to point out that not only is Jughead a main character, but he is also the narrator. Knowing this, Sprouse then asked to try out for Jughead. He figured that if he were the narrator, his chances of being killed off would be much lower. Smart move, Sprouse. With Sheriff Keller knocking on every door, a neighbor suspecting neighbor, Riverdale, every day that passes, is becoming more like Salem during the witch trials. Number four, the works of David Lynch were a big inspiration. I mean, just how depraved is this town? The small town setting and mysterious characters of Riverdale will be reminiscent to many of David Lynch's body of work. The auteur filmmaker behind such trippy movies and TV shows as Eraserhead, Blue Velvet, and most notably in this case, Twin Peaks, is known for his desire to expose society's dark underbelly. Albert's never seen a drug like it, a combo, really weird stuff. Riverdale definitely borrows heavily from Lynch's groundbreaking TV series. From the show's opening scene to the welcome sign that greets newcomers on their way into town, the fingerprints of Lynch's inspiration can be found all over the series. Even Maid Chen Amick, who's known as Shelly in the Twin Peaks universe, now plays Betty's mom, Alice. I want you to see what kind of person Archie truly is. Number three, Archie isn't just chasing Veronica and Betty. Remember Miss Grundy? In the comics, she was the elderly English and math teacher, known for her assortment of trademark hideous frocks and generally stern teaching style. Well, she's back and looking a little bit different. What can I do for you, Mr. Andrews? In this adaptation, Miss Grundy is a music teacher at Riverdale High School, and she's, to put it bluntly, smoking hot. She's so hot, in fact, that Archie can't seem to keep his hands off of her. That's right, unlike the sweet and innocent comics that primarily revolve around good old-fashioned hijinks, this new version is substantially steamier. We're doing this because Grundy has Archie under some kind of sexual spell, and he won't listen to reason. We're looking for anything that proves Grundy isn't as clean as she says she is. Number two, Veronica's family is broke. In previous iterations of the Riverdale gang, certain things such as Jughead's appetite, Mr. Weatherby's comedic gaffes, and Veronica's immense wealth never changed. In the Netflix version, however, the Lodge family's financial situation is quite the opposite. Due to his involvement in an embezzlement scheme, Veronica's family has lost the family's fortune. Archie overheard Mr. Blossom say that he's the one responsible for putting Dad in jail. With her father behind bars, it's up to Veronica to make a fresh start in her new hometown of Riverdale. Played by Camila Mendez in her first acting role, this version of the character is unlike any we've seen before. She doesn't let people put her down, and she's really quick to put them in their place. What? Like she often does with Cheryl. You may be a stock character from a 90s teen movie, but I'm not. Number one, the characters got a little sexy. Though the Archie comics are beloved, while adapting it for a new generation, it seemed necessary to make some updates. The most striking change is that all the characters are insanely hot. Sure, Archie still has his iconic red hair, but he's now a total babe, sporting a well-defined six-pack. Archie got hot! His best pal Jughead ditched his trademark crown for a beanie in an assortment of brooding stares. Betty and Veronica? Complete knockouts. In addition to being drop-dead gorgeous, their personalities aren't as straightforward as they used to be. Veronica's been humbled due to her father's crimes, and Betty is looking to curb her goody-two-shoes personality. This isn't your parents' Riverdale. Betty couldn't make it. So she sent me instead. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.